All right, guys, we got this. Let's go gun wide trip speed. Control next, go. On one, on one. Ready? All right. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a sneaky motion we can use to confuse the defense and get huge yardage in the RPO game. Now, the formation we're going to be in is gun wing flex weak, and the play that we're going to be using is RPO read X smoke. Now, this play can be found in the Arizona Cardinals, the spread or the pass balance, and the Houston Texans playbook. Okay, now first of all, before we talk about the motion, I just want to talk about this play in itself and making sure we understand how it works. So with an RPO read, it's essentially a triple option play. Okay, we're going to be able to hand it off to the running back, we're going to be able to keep it and run with the quarterback, or we're going to be able to throw it to our receiving option. Okay. So when you have that, you're going to have two icons on the defense's head you need to pay attention to. Okay, you see the R icon and the P icon. So the R icon is going to be playing the read option portion of this play. He's never going to react to the receiving option. Okay, so if they would man that guy with the R above his head up to the receiver, he still will not play the receiver. He's always going to play the read option portion of this play. And that's very important for later on in this video. Okay, now the P icon is going to be the pass icon, right? He's going to tell us if we don't hand it off to the running back, are we going to keep it with the quarterback or are we going to throw to the receiver? Okay, so first of all, our first read here is going to be that guy with the R above his head. If he stands up, we're just going to hand it off to our running back and we can get positive yards, follow our blockers and get an easy five and even break it for more yards there. Okay, so if we go to the replay real quick, you can see that... If this defensive end here who had the R above his head, if he stands up, we're just going to hand this off every single time and follow our blockers and get some positive yards. Okay, now that's going to be the easiest read of this whole thing. Now, what you're going to see here is if that guy crashes down, right? So if that uh, defensive end there with the R above his head, if he crashes down, that's where we need to change our focus to the defender with the P above his head and then see if he's also crashing down, we would throw it. If he's not crashing down, that's when we will uh, keep it with our quarterback. Okay, so what you'll see here is that guy crashes down. We see that the slot corner does not crash down, so we keep it with our quarterback, and we can pick up some big yardage there as well. Okay, so if we go to the replay and look at this again real quick, you can see that this defensive end crashes down. So as soon as we see that, we would change our attention and our focus here to the slot corner. He's not crashing down. So that leaves this wide open area for our quarterback. We just follow our blockers there and pick up a big game. Okay. Now, lastly, uh, with this play stock is if they would crash down, um, if both guys crash down, right? So if the R icon and the P icon both crash down, that's where we're going to want to throw uh, to the receiver. Okay. So again, you see both of them crash down. You're going to throw to the receiver. Now you'll see there that sometimes that slot receiver for our team is not going to get the block very well. Uh, and we're going to get minimal yards. Sometimes they could even try to jump that for a pick. Uh, but what you'll see here, first of all, is if this guy crashes down the defensive end, we know we have to keep with the quarterback. We then look at this guy. He's also crashing down. So that's telling us we need to throw it. Like I said, sometimes the slot receiver is not going to get a good block on this outside corner. Okay, so this is a dangerous throw to make. All right, so that's where our unique motion is going to come into play. Okay, so what we're going to do here, and this is the really uh, crazy part about this play and what's going to make it even more effective, is we're going to motion the slot receiver to the left. Okay, now when we motion him to the left, he's actually going to move to the right, and he's going to form this weird bunch or stack to the right side of the field. Okay, so you see how he's sitting right there. Now, I'll show you, we can also motion this guy to the right, but if we motion him to the right, he's going to go all the way to the outside. Okay, I don't like that as much because we don't have him there in to block just in case we do hand the ball off. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to motion him left and that does still move him to the right, but it's going to stack him there with the tight ends. Okay, the other thing I want you to notice here is if you look, the R and the P icon have now switched. Okay, so instead of being on the defensive end in the slot corner, it's now going to be on the slot corner and the outside corner. Okay, so like I said earlier, that R icon is never going to play the receiver. Okay, he's only going to play the running back and the quarterback and decide what he wants to do based off the read option. Okay, so we don't even have to focus on him when it comes to throwing the ball to the X receiver. All we need to do is look at the P icon on this play. 
Okay, so that outside corner, if he crashes down, we're gonna throw to the X every single time. Okay, we wanna hesitate and pause and let those guys get sucked in. And then we're just going to throw it to the receiver. He's gonna be wide open. And then we're just gonna be able to turn up field for an easy 10 yards. Okay, so again, we're gonna keep our focus on that P icon, that outside corner. If he bites down, which he does there, we're just going to pull that ball at the quarterback, throw it and get ourselves an easy 10 to 15 yards. Okay, this is gonna be very consistent and very effective uh, if they don't make any adjustments. And if they do, we can still hand it off or keep it with the quarterback, right? We still have those options available. But what you're gonna see is you're gonna catch a lot of people off guard because they're not gonna know why their outside corner looks like he's blitzing. Okay, because he's in a soft squat here. He's not blitzing. But you can see that outside corner because we motioned over and got the P icon on him that allows us to throw this wide open smoke screen. And you can see here, there's not somebody within 18 yards as the closest defender. We're just gonna turn up field. And if you make that guy miss, you can take it for even more, but it's an easy 10 to 15 yard gain every single time. Okay, so again, what you're gonna see is when we motion this guy to the left, again, he gets in this unique stack positioning or alignment, and then it's gonna switch the R and the P icon. Our focus is on that outside corner. If that P icon crashes in, we're gonna throw it to the X every single time. Like I said, you do wanna hesitate. You wanna pause, let him get sucked in more. And you can see we throw it there, we turn up field, and we get ourselves a nice 10 to 12 yard gain. And again, this is gonna be very frustrating for opponent. Make them get out of that meta defense that they're wanting to run. And then you can start to open up the rest of your offense as well. If you've made it to the end of this video, odds are you're serious about becoming a better Madden player, and we're here to help. On our website at huddle.gg, $9.95 a month unlocks all of our full game plans created by some of the best Madden players in the world. You'll also have access to our private Discord, where Madden pros will answer your questions and help take your game to the next level. Have a great day.